happy? I'm real happy. Real happy. Why are you so happy? <laughs> <laughs> I think I freaked you out. Uh, I'm happy because there's a C10 truck involved in my happiness. There's a the truck I'm about to show you in the video, I was doing a video of it for my friend to sell on. I was gonna put it on YouTube for sale. And by the time that I ended the video, I talked my own self into it. I can't afford it, but I don't know. I'm just a sucker for square bodies. Golly, bum. It's an addiction, isn't it? But anyway, I, I told him I'd buy the truck. So in order for me to buy the truck, I'm going to have to sell left turn bill, the 84 C10 truck. That's at GM 1038's garage on YouTube. Check him out, GM 1038. Um, the truck that I just bought used to belong to Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop in 10 Mile, Tennessee. He's on Facebook, Gas X Chop Shop, AXE is X. But uh, anyway, when I seen it at Tim's, I wanted that truck. But and like I said, I can't afford all this stuff, and it seems like every time I sell one, it's not long and I buy another one. So, but I, I guess there are worse habits. We don't smoke. We don't. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. We don't smoke or drink or do anything. We don't have any fun, except with C10s. So anyway, so I wound up talking myself into buying that truck. So now I've got it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be selling left turn bill. If you're not familiar with it, go back several videos and. Uh, when, when Brian, my buddy GM1038, his name is Brian, when he gets done working on the truck, I'll post a video up and I'll let y'all have first shot at it, uh, left turn build. All I know is I spent a bunch of money on that truck, all new front end, I've had it lowered, and there's still quite a few things to do on the truck, but it's come a long way. So I'll just let it go with that, and I hope y'all enjoy the video that you're about to see so there you go see what you think and y'all can help me on names after uh, when I get the truck home we'll do the name game maybe y'all can help me come up with a good name for it okay watch the video see you in a bit hey guys I am looking at this 1985 Chevy custom deluxe it belongs to my friend you might have seen it in a few videos back maybe a month or two something like that anyway my friend bought this truck from tim dixon at gas axe chop shop tim's on facebook gas axe chop shop axe is axe i'm all the time talking about tim or uh gm tim 38 on youtube if you check them both out i appreciate it but uh tim dixon's on facebook and gm tim 38 is on youtube anyway this truck is for sale I'm going to tell you the price now, so when I go over the truck with you, you'll know uh, how much my friend is wanting for the truck. It's $8,500. It's got a $350 in it, and he thinks it's got a $350 turbo in it. But uh, it's got some things I like. I know I've showed y'all this in the video, but in case you're a new person to my channel, uh, I like bumper guards. It's already got the bumper guards on it. It's got some uh, Chevy truck rallies on it. And this is all, all of this is natural patina. I don't know what's up with the door, but I mean, it looks like it matches. But another thing, when I was rolling the window down on it, look how good this door shuts. It shuts good. We'll go around the outside real quick, and then I'll show you the inside of the bed and the inside of the truck. And I'll raise the hood. Looks like it's got new exhaust on it. Pops look new. It's set... Uh, for a week at my my buddy owns this truck he said it's set for a week and he just hit the switch it started right up looks like it's always been a southern truck because it says Georgia I, I'm telling you this is a 
pretty good old truck. I, I wish, I wish dual exhaust. I wish I could afford to get it, but honestly, I just can't. Otherwise, it'd be sitting in my driveway. Look how nice this bed is. There's a couple of little dings. I'm going to point out anything bad that I can see, okay? But this is all natural patina. I mean, I just really... You're not going to have to color match stuff like I generally have to do. I don't see any dings here. Just a couple right there on the wheel well. Wheel. I sound like Elmer Fudd. Wheel well. But, uh, you know, you see a lot of Silverados, but this is the Custom Deluxe. I kind of like the cheaper models, too. This door is locked. I'm sorry. I should have. Well, I will look at it on the driver's side. I'm going to show you some things where things normally kind of rust out there a little bit. It's got a little bit of surface rust right there. See, I can't. I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you the truth. Anything I ever sell, I always tell you the truth about it. If there's something bad, I'm going to tell you. Cab corners look good. Rockers look good. It's got a small little dent right here, and the custom, uh, custom and part of the deluxe word is missing. But it's this real small dent. I'll try to show you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a slight dent. I think it'd be easy to fix. It's got the wheel well, wheel well molding. There's that Elmer Fudd for you. Looks like it's had some new front end work. Yep, new exhaust. See all that? Pretty good set of tires on it too with some truck rallies. This thing would look really good cleaned up with some penetrol on it. I think 85 you got to open up from the inside. Let's look at the inside real quick. Let me show you the top. Let me finish going around the body first because I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't see any rust. I'm showing you stuff I can't see. I'll try to slide in here in just a minute and I'll unlock the passenger side. Looks like it might have had a little bit of something right there. I'm not sure, but it's been fixed. I'm trying to show you typical places that they tend to rust out. Golly, I like this truck. It's just a matter of, I don't have the money to get it. I just don't have the money to get it. I'm going to unlock the passenger side here. This was a AC truck. Okay. Oh, uh, let's hit the switch. New exhaust. Exhaust on it. True 
dual exhaust. Show you the rocker here on the passenger side. it needs a new dash pad if that's something that you're wanting to fix I like this too roll up windows I mean all this stuff's in real good shape I, I mean I'm gonna rev it up so you can hear it, okay? Now remember, it's cold. It's not warmed up yet. Let's look at the engine. I don't think some of these gauges work. got a Pioneer stereo in it. Man, I'm liking this truck. Hold on a minute. Trying to get this camera to focus. Real quiet. Still has the jack in it. center boat AC is I think I've mentioned this a minute ago it's not hooked up pieces are there but it's not hooked up looks like it's got a new uh, fan motor for the heater got a good sound has the original steering wheel if a person this is what I do oh let me show you this I, I almost forgot to show you the floorboard on this side I'm trying to be I, I'm an honest person if I know something is wrong I'm going to tell you about it because I I have to answer to the Lord for whatever I do and say and I've got enough to answer for so I mean oh I didn't show you the bottom of the passenger door I'm, i get sidetracked i get excited about looking at c10 trucks i don't know if you're this way or not but oh it's got a sliding back glass okay look at this i'm showing you stuff i can't see i'm trying to show you the seat i'm trying to lift this cover up Remember, it's not my truck. I'm doing this for my friend. He's a really good guy, and he's one of my best friends, him and his son. So, looks like it's still got the information about the truck in there, but I'm not going to prowl around. It's like I said, it's not my truck. But, I mean, with this truck right here, in my opinion you kind of got a blank canvas i mean you could this truck is good enough i mean you could repaint it or paint it any color you wanted to but it was born white obviously but i mean it's kind of like a blank canvas and you could repaint it or you could just leave it patina style you could do like i always do and put some aftermarket wheels on it and lower it there's all kinds of possibilities with this truck i mean you could do whatever you wanted to with it i mean it's it's just like a blank canvas just do whatever you wanted to do you could leave that bumper on or you could put a sport bumper on it if there's possibilities are endless and just think of all the think of all the fun you're going to have playing with this truck there's 
Every time I get a truck, most of the time it's got rust in it. This one doesn't have any. So, I mean, you're all the time, or I'm all the time trying to get things fixed here and there, but this one's, this one's pretty, pretty clean, pretty original. I mean, pretty much, I don't see anything. Here's my vision. If it was mine, what do I always do if you've kept up with my channel? Lower it. Put some 20 inch American racing wheels on it. Maybe some gray spoke like I get at Ronnie Tyler's in Madisonville, Tennessee. Lower it down. It's already got the bumper guards. I, I would personally, me, I would try to match up this door to match the rest of the body. If it was me and if, if it was mine, I might get a new dash pad. And I mean, it's. It would be fun to play with. It would keep me occupied for a long time just playing around with this truck. I'd love to have it, but like I said, I just can't afford it. I've got so many now. It's Oh, I didn't see this till just now, but it, the grill does have a crack in it. But I think a man could glue it if he didn't want to buy a new grill. There's a small crack. Hairline crack there. I'm going to tell you everything about this truck that I see that Somebody might, I don't want to mislead anybody. I'd put new tail light lens in it. It may be some parking light lens just make things pop as I always say. But it's a nice truck. I hope somebody gets it that will take care of it. It's too good a truck. Short beds are hard to find anyway. But it's just too good a truck to... Let it be neglected. I hope somebody gets it that will take good care of it. Speaking of that, if you are interested in this truck, leave me your phone number. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best, uh, Facebook, Primer is Best. And you can leave just a way to get a hold of you if you're seriously interested in it. Like I said, this is my buddy and I'm not going to, uh, you know, give him, I'm not going to give out his phone number or information because... You know, I don't want him to be bombarded with a bunch of people that's not really interested in the truck. But if you're seriously interested in it, he's an honest feller and he'll tell you everything about the truck. If I didn't mention it, he said when it sets a wall, it's got a little bit of a transmission leak. But that's it. So, let me know what you think in the comments about this truck. It's an 85 Chevy C10 Custom Deluxe. Don't forget you're watching Primer is Best on YouTube right now. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best. Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best. But I mean, I think this truck would be a killer truck. That, if it was lowered, that's just my... That's Everybody has a dream of what they want their car or truck to look like. My dream is if I had this... I'd lower it and put some 20 inch wheels on it. And I, you know, maybe put some patina on the driver's side door and I'd put some Penetrol or boiled linseed oil on it. Man, it'd be killer. My opinion. Anyway, y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Appreciate you watching. If you're seriously interested, leave me a way to, to get a hold of you. And I'll have my friend call you uh at a good time for you leave me your leave me your number and a good time to call you we live in east tennessee so we'll go from there y'all have a great day god bless each and every one of y'all appreciate you watching lord's watching over all of us and i hope he is you too i'll see y'all later